so today I want to just do a couple of fall recipes since I'm really getting into fall cooking and cooking in general. That's kind of one of my goals is to really get some more recipes under my belt. And one that I actually do really well is um, a little bit of a curry dish. I'm going to prep for that and then do a couple of other little things just using some more fall-ish foods. And I'm going to look up their magical properties and see exactly what different things spices wise what that'll do for me. So let's get started. kind of cooked up all this fun stuff here is a few of the things that cinnamon or other magical foods and their things do so cinnamon is the first thing um that I pretty much put in everything it's in the apple cider it's in the pumpkin squash rice dish and a bunch of others so um I'm reading off my phone easiest cinnamon is associated with the element of fire and the sun cinnamon is commonly used in incense it smells really good and fills the room with a warm comfy feeling especially nice and cold winter days it can be burned to sanctify an area or an object, or to increase the spiritual mood, to aid in healing spells, or in healing in general, um, and also to enhance the male libido. Uh, the oil may be used to anoint objects during a blessing. Um, cinnamon and cinnamon oil can be used in love spells to make charms, to draw love, happiness, and money. The cinnamon-scented brooms you can buy as a gift shops can be charged to bring these things to your household. Um, best to hang them somewhere near the door. So I assume that if you conjure any sort of food with cinnamon, then and you're putting intention into it, then you can definitely bring all those things as well. And so basically I found this great thing off of uh, witcheslore.com, which I really agree with, so I'm just going to read a little passage from that. I'll put the full post uh, down below in the link. Um, all magic starts with intention, and the way magic works is that through certain steps you are able to manifest your intention. Try to always prepare and cook food that you enjoy. As you are preparing food, not only is it necessary to cook with intention, it is also necessary to visualize the magical outcome that you are working towards. By doing this, you are igniting the energies with the food and within yourself. As you eat your magic food, be fully present and make sure you are thinking about which you wish to conjure and make sure you are visualizing your ultimate magic outcome. The intention and visualization is very important with all magic craft. So that's basically what I got for the magic foods. Um, I'm going to be cooking a whole bunch more of this as we go further into the colder months and the... Uh, uh, I guess the holiday season that seems to appear so much right now so it's kind of cool to think that with all the baking and everything else I can do looking at the different properties of different herbs that I'll be using and really putting intention into my food that's what I plan to do it's part of Utopia so new video goes up tomorrow bye guys <laughs>